Hey everybody, Rachel Varga here. I wanted to share with you something that's really powerful about understanding true beauty. What is true beauty? What's the secret to beauty? I'm going to share with you something that I've recently discovered that has really opened my mind up as to what I think is truly beautiful. First of all, I'll let you know that I'm at one of my favorite spots ever. I'm at the Weatherly Inn on Salt Spring Island. I love it here. And one of the reasons why is I'm on 30 acres, a private inn, at my favorite Mount Maxwell right over there, and I'm just surrounded by nature. The sounds of nature, the beautiful trees, scenery, all that good stuff. If you've ever heard of joy or love being the highest vibration, I want you to scrap that thought because actually beauty is. If you are outside somewhere, say I'm at my favorite hill called Anderson Hill in Victoria and I'm overlooking the ocean, the Olympic mountains, there's you know rocks and trees and gary oaks and kind of long tall grass and gorgeous flowers. When you're looking at something like that, you are looking at beauty. And when you see a, a beautiful nature scape, it makes you feel joyful, it makes you feel happy. It makes you feel like you're loving your surroundings. It's a little bit of a funny observation for someone like me to make because my whole career is to help people understand how they can be more beautiful. And that involves different anti-aging and rejuvenation procedures, but really, the number one thing that you should be doing to increase your beauty is to actually get out and surround yourself with beauty. Getting out in nature and appreciating those gorgeous trees and those gorgeous blossoms and flowers, that really is true beauty. This might sound a little bit woo-woo, but when you are around that, you are going to be resonating with that a little bit more. And even if you're not the conventional beautiful that you'll find in the magazines or on the runway, you know, that's not necessarily true beauty. Nature is true beauty. So if you're really wanting to encourage beauty from the inside and out, which is absolutely what I recommend doing, not the reverse, going from the outside in, really focus on that inner beauty. And the best way that you can do that to achieve true beauty, in my opinion, is to just get out in nature.